Good morning, uh, YouTubers, three sisters, and our subscribers. Um, I just wanted to um, give you a quick update of where I am, part six. Um, I cannot believe this. I went to go and listen to the video this morning, and I can't hear myself, so I have to start my video all over again. YouTube, what's going on with your services? Anyway, um, I'm just going to make this real short and sweet. Um, my update, um, I had my my little list here yesterday that I was following. So, uh, I began my journey on November the, November 2012. My highest weight was 329. I was approved um, in May of um, 2013 for the surgery. And um, I went through all my classes. Um, then after that, um, the doctors had diagnosed me with being anemic, so they could not give me a surgery date. Meanwhile, just to go back a little bit more, 2007, I was diagnosed with adenomyosis, which is a, a um, it's not a rare disease, but it's a, um, it's a um, condition that women have um, where the tissues extra tissue grows into the muscle walls of the endometrium. Um, anyway, it causes excess bleeding and excess pain. Um, so um, I was doing fine. I didn't have no problems after I had surgery in 2007. I had a laparoscopic uh, for a few years. I didn't have any issues, um, no pain, um, no bleeding heavily. And then all of a sudden, a few years afterwards, um, it started up. Um, so I got a couple of years of relief, and then all of a sudden it started again with pain. Um, the bleeding wasn't as severe, but the pain was there. Um, then all of a sudden it went away again. So um, now I'm coming back to 2013, which is where the doctors have said, okay, we need to control you're bleeding because you're anemic. And so the doctor placed me on a Gestin, which is a type of a birth control pill. Um, and when I was on it for about four and a half months, and um, all of a sudden, the um, I was at work one night, and boom, just this severe pain hit so hard that I couldn't walk. And then just, I just started bleeding all over the place. I had to hurry up and get home. Um, and then finally, um, when I got home, I was rushed to the hospital. Um, I know that may seem kind of strange, but I'll explain to you guys later. Meanwhile, I was rushed to the hospital, um, and the doctors decided that they wanted to keep me to monitor the bleeding and the pain. Um, oh, and so... After that, um, they were saying, well, Angela, the best thing for you is a hysterectomy. Well, I really didn't want to have a hysterectomy because I wanted to at least have one child before I decided to do something like that. I knew that one day I would make that decision. So um, I told them, no, I, I didn't want to do that. Let's see what else we can do. So I started doing research, trying to figure out what can I do. Maybe, you know, um, try some holistic healing, um, but I just did not want the, the hysterectomy right now. Um, I've seen success stories on this here type of issue, and I just feel like I want to be one of those miracle uh, stories that I can just share with everyone. So, after making the decision, um, it's still going through the pain and the 30 days. That's one of the reasons why I haven't really been on Facebook because I've been dealing with this type of issue. And so um, I finally just said, you know what, let's just go ahead and have the hysterectomy. Um, I didn't want to make that decision, but um, I made the decision that I would have a hysterectomy. So I went to the doctor and I asked my OBGYN, I said, is there something else we could do, maybe, you know, maybe just 
do a light surgery or something like that and she was like no it's the only thing we could do is a hysterectomy so after I was rushed to the hospital in December of 2013 they discovered I had two fibroid tumors one on each side of the uterus which that's what caused the severe pain and that's what caused the severe bleeding um, and then that's when I decided that we're just going to do the hysterectomy you're talking about somebody has been crying and crying and crying and crying and crying. And then they told me, okay, if we do the hysterectomy, we're going to have to cancel your surgery, which was scheduled for February the 19th. So I told her, I said, you know what, I want one more opinion. And I said, there's something we can do. We can shrink some fibroids. And she looked at me and said, you know what, Angelique, I never, I just didn't, it just didn't cross my mind. We can try a drug called Lupron which helps shrink the, um, actually it helps um, um, put your body in menopause mode where you will not bleed and then you can, um, your, sh your fibroids can shrink. Well, you know what, I'm not looking for just a shrinking, I'm looking for a total healing um, when it comes to, to me. Um, and going in my prayer closet and praying and walking by faith and not by sight, I'm not looking for remission. I'm looking for total healing. And that's what I'm looking for. So I asked her to go ahead and set up the surgery for the hysterectomy and go ahead and cancel my weight loss surgery. Um, and she said, okay, I'll have my surgery team give you a call. Now, this is the OBGYN. So about a week and a half later, the surgeon called me and she said to me, she says, Angelique, you're doing fine. She said, the Lupron shot, I asked her, how long is it going to take for this to kick in? She said, it takes up to three months anyway for it to kick in. She said, in about the, the end of the first month to the second month, you should start feeling a whole lot better. Um, you know, the bleeding should subside to completely nothing. And then we can consider going in and having the surgery. But that won't be until March. Well, guess what? My surgery for weight loss was scheduled for February the 19th. And I didn't already call and told them to cancel my surgery and everything because I'm just so upset and whatever and whatever, whatever. So after she had explained to me exactly what was going to happen, meaning that I couldn't even have the surgery until three months anyway, I said, you know what? I'm just going to go for my weight loss surgery and stay on God's plan, not my plan, not making drastic decisions like that. So the good news is is that I feel a lot better. I'm controlling the pain and the bleeding. And the good news is I called my weight loss surgeon and told him, put me back on the calendar. I want my surgery for February the 19th. So the good news is is that Everything is in God's hands. I'm trusting and believing in Him. I'm staying in my in my prayer closet. I'm walking by faith and not by sight. And I still am confirmed for my weight loss surgery, February the 19th. So look forward to getting some more uh, vlog videos. You know, on my journey. Um, it's a wonderful journey. Um, I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world. I would not change my journey. Even though I'm going through what I'm going through, I wouldn't change my journey for nothing in the world. So if there's somebody that's out there that really needs a support group, a woman support group in their journey for gastric sleeve, please stop by and inbox me or go to Facebook and look for us on Facebook. We are there to support our sisters and I love my sisters because they are there to support me too. Um, again, we are the Flea Sisters, and um, we are open, we open our arms, and we welcome everybody, um, all the women who are out there searching for a support group for weight loss surgery, for gastric flea, we're here, and again, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, I really, truly appreciate it, and um, I appreciate my admins, I love you guys, you are doing an awesome job. 
BSG Angel, you're doing an awesome job. Um, Sonia, you're doing an awesome job with our um, with our live video chat sessions on Monday night. Um, we have them on Thursday night. And um, I look forward to just continuing this journey with the rest of all of you guys. You have a wonderful and blessed day.